and welcome back to renovating vlogs so we took a few months off um filming and putting anything on youtube purely because we had so many setbacks that there was just weeks and weeks of like nothing being done and there was just no content to put out there but we are currently july no we're not june and we are hoping to be in in the next week or two. <laughs> um, I mean, we could have been in this weekend, but again, we've been let down by, well, the electrician didn't turn up this week to do his final like fittings and everything. And we was having our bedroom carpet put down on Friday and until I finished work on Friday. And the carpet fitter texted me to say that they have cut the carpet wrong. Um, it's too small and doesn't fit in the room. So a few angry phone calls later with the carpet company They are coming this next week to rectify and fit it um, Yes, so that's where we are at I am back. I just thought I would do the introduction whilst I've got makeup on um, I'm quite sweaty already because that is just what this house does to me um, But a lot of the time when I'm here, I'm not wearing any makeup so I just thought I'd do the introduction now and then this week I will show you um, how things are looking. So if you go back and watch my last bit vlogs, I think we still had brick work showing in a lot of the rooms. Um, so we've finished plastering about a couple of weeks ago now and now there's no brick showing. So that is the one good thing. Things still aren't um, painted because actually if I take you through into the living room which I'm actually just looking at now you will see that it's been plastered but not painted so this is the living room and as you can probably hear it suddenly becomes very echoey because there's obviously nothing in here um the walls are plastered they've not even been whitewashed yet um but this is just this room the hallway has been plastered and whitewashed and the other living room is also whitewashed and ready to be painted tomorrow by me and my mum um, so this will be like the last room probably. But that is where we are up to and I'm so excited that this is finally going to happen. Maybe next month. Um, yeah, so. Hello. Um, I warned you that this vlog would be no makeup consistency. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'm currently sat in B&Q car park because it is now officially well, that's better, moving week um, which means so basically we've not known for a while whether we were actually going to be able to move at the moment but the electrician has pulled through and that means that now it is officially moving week I have had to take today off because our carpet is being fitted today so I need to go and be at the house for that this afternoon just waiting for a call back from them because I have rang them just to inquire about pricing um the other two bedrooms to see if i can go and buy that today because it's also payday <laughs> and you might notice this absolutely massive plank of wood behind me which i have been there growing up today and because i have got the day off i have got to go to the wood store apologies i don't know what these places are called it's a wood place <laughs> and i've got a um, windowsill for our main bedroom so that can be done hopefully tonight by a carpenter who is Anthony's friend. Yeah so it's Wednesday we are thinking the bed will be moved over on Friday which would make Friday technically our first day in the house and first night in the house. It is literally our systems go because it's also a work week um, like I said I've got today off so I've got an awful lot to get done today. The electrician's also going to the house to, to hopefully finish off. Yeah so so far I have packed up a few of my clothes and things, my belongings. I've dropped them off at my mum's house um, just so she can keep storage of them for a while for me and then um, I went to the wood place and now I'm sat in b &Q car park because I need to go and buy some paint. Um, to finish off the living room, which is hopefully going to be today's to-do list as well. So, let's get going. Done being cute. There's the paint. And now, I am at Tesco's. Yeah, basically I'm rubbish already because I didn't film anything. I literally went into being cute, grabbed the paint, paid for it and walked out. And can I just say, I don't know if you can actually hear me because I've got this on me. Absolutely love this. 
it was, somebody mentioned it on Instagram and I basically went and bought it straight away. I mean, look how pretty it is for the first. But I am just such a warm person anyway. Like, I feel like I'm always warm, complaining that I'm too sweaty, which is gross. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is an absolute lifesaver this time of year for me. So I'm just nipping into Tesco's. I need some slippers with a hard sole for the house because there's still a lot of it's like not carpeted and it's gonna be like dusty and dirty. Um, and I need to grab myself like a meal deal, I think, for my dinner for today at the house. So not very fun things to go and buy. But. house um to there being no electrician which is a little bit alarming because today's the day they're supposed to be here for a full day to finish everything off and it's 11 o'clock and nobody's here and nobody has been here and we need them to do the bedroom before the carpet gets fitted so that was a fun little development anyway my mum is coming down she's just gonna help me do a few things oh it's really echoey in here I need to go to the one room that's actually got stuff in it. I mean, the kitchen's an absolute shit tip. There's just stuff everywhere. So that is one of the priorities today is to make sure this kitchen looks like a kitchen. Um, and I bought some fun things from Tesco's that I will show you along the way. But I got some flowers and a dress, so we've got to try that on. Hello and good morning. I am coming to you from the new house because um, well, yesterday, on the 30th of June, we actually moved in. We are now full-time living at the house, and I completely forgot to vlog any of it. I mean, technically it was a Friday, so we was both working anyway. And then we got some help from family um, to get the things here that we needed. But the bedroom is, I mean, it's obviously like there's stuff everywhere, but... It's the one room in the house that actually like feels like it's done. Um, so I'm very happy with it. I will do a tour, I think, later. But for now, I am actually heading out. Um, Anthony's at work today. It's a Saturday. He's at work. I am just going to go to a few shops. Got to go order the carpet for the other bedroom. And then I've got Troy to go and pick up. I'm very excited to bring him here. But we finally did it. I just had to come into the range to see all their autumn bits. Oh my god. I'm a bit excited. So today is actually our first day in the house without leaving. Um it's just me today because Anthony's still at work. It is Sunday the 2nd of July. It's still quite echoey in this house, um, but we've had some exciting deliveries this morning. One of them being Ikea and the wardrobe, Pax wardrobe situation that's going now, walk-in wardrobe. I've got Troy here making a bunch of noise. And we've had our first um, food shopping delivery as well. So I have that to put away, which is exciting. Ignore the condiments and sausage things behind me. Um, I can't find a lot of my kitchen storage stuff still um, because we've got a lock up and we just can't really get to a lot of the things in there. So that's kind of where it is for now. The microwave is new, well, new into the house. Um, yesterday I ended up not really vlogging because we just got, or I, sorry, and was just plotting around, just trying to do stuff and just move things about basically, trying to tidy stuff up, empty boxes, um, and just chilled in between. So here I am again today trying to vlog. I'm gonna put this food shop away, um, try and organize a few more boxes that we went to get last night from the storage unit. I'm gonna make myself an iced coffee um, and just stock stuff up, I think. I think that is the plan.
I have come upstairs to the bathroom to try and get it sorted in here as well because the kitchen is just the same walls and I just needed a change of scenery. So here I am. Um, excuse the fact that there is a door behind me. We still have no door on the bathroom. Actually, that's probably the only problem in here. Um, this room, when we moved in, when we first came to view it, like the whole house was an absolute mess. It really needed like a lot of work to into it, but this is the, the bathroom was the newest room that they had done. So for now, we are just leaving it in terms of decorative. Um, like the tiles aren't to my taste, but they are not the worst at all. It is a new shower though that we have added. And we have got also behind the door, we've got a new shower screen um, to put up. But yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, <laughs> this is what you've just been um, stood on. So yes, but what I wanted to do now was actually this here. So I bought this unit. Hello, Troy. Hello. I bought this unit when we first moved in. Well, when we first bought the house from Dunham and Troy. What are you doing? Um, so I'm going to put all of my Lush things, bath bombs and that in it, which are all in this box here. Um, so that is the plan. But because it is wooden on the inside, I'm sorry, Troy's looking my face. Because it's wooden on the inside, I'm just going to use a bag to, um, like, just to protect it a bit more. So I'm just going to cut some bits up and do that. This is what I have got. Um, so there is that drawer full. I am just going to cut this um, this bit down just to make sure it doesn't like look hideous. Um, this drawer. And then I thought my bottom one I could use for like anything else, maybe from Lush or the Body Shop. Um, just some nice bath salt, shower gels, things like that. This makes me happy. 